talking about emerging roles in the data science and machine learning field. And the role that I want to talk to you about in this video is called a data curator or a data librarian. This is an emerging role, so it doesn't have a single job title. And if you're looking at most companies, they understand the need, but they haven't quite figured out exactly what it takes to get the type of data they need to create a competitive advantage over anyone else in their particular marketplace. And that's because right now they're used to grabbing everything they can. When it comes to data, companies will gather everything, throw it into a data warehouse, but it isn't always useful. And it's usually the same data that everyone else in the marketplace has. So no matter what they get out of it, it's something that's easily replicated by anyone else they could be competing with. So that's where a data curator comes into play. The data curator has two main roles. The first is data discovery. This doesn't just mean going out there and saying, oh, I can get access to this data or that data, and here's a data set and I can gather it. Data discovery is about understanding the business needs. What is the company trying to accomplish? What strategy goals does the business have? What metrics does the business measure to indicate success? So the data curator looks at all of those goals and says, okay, I can creatively go out and gather these data sets. And that's typically through an experiment of some sort, a controlled data gathering experiment. And the data curator has to have a strong background in data science and machine learning because the data sets they curate are going to go directly into a model, usually several models, and they're going to deliver specific insights to the business or they'll enable features in a product which no one else can create, no one else can support outside of that business because of that data set that they're curating, because of that unique data and the high quality, the high grade of the data that they're curating through this experiment, through this very rigorously controlled process where they go out and get data that no one else has. And so what's the competitive advantage? It's that process, it's the experiment. That's a discovery where I've figured out some very interesting way to go out there and gather data that exists but has never been gathered before or has never been created in such a high quality fashion that modeling can be using that data in a reliable way that you can expect something novel to come out of it rather than the generic sort of insights that you get from the day-to-day -day data that everyone has access to. So that's discovery. And you can hear discovery is different than you would expect. It's not so much just going out there and looking for APIs or open data or figuring out, hey, I, you know, if we tweak this thing, we can gather some more data from our customers. That's not really what discovery is. It's different. It's creating an experiment. Now, what is curation? Curation is the quality side of the data gathering process. It is now that I've gathered the data in a very rigorous way using this creative experiment that I've come up with, I now have to make that data useful. That's again where a lot of the understanding of data science and machine learning comes into play because the curator has to understand the models that are going to be used. The curator has to understand, well, if I'm a data scientist, what format do I need this data in? What sort of metadata do I need associated with the data set so that I can have a high level of trust in it. So I have enough information about how it was gathered to determine whether it is useful for my particular scenario, for the system that I am trying to measure. Curation also makes it easier to gather follow-up data. You've created an artifact, which is the data gathering process and all the information you would need in order to recreate that experiment and gather new data or even modify the experiment slightly and understanding how that outcome might produce some more interesting results, might make the data higher quality. And that's curation. Curation is basically building a catalog of everything that could be gathered, how you would gather it, and then annotating all of that data, not just with labels, but also with the data gathering mechanism, with the methodology, the experiment associated with it. And you give a data scientist enough information that I can now look at that data set 
and make a determination whether or not this data could be useful for my particular application. So those are your two roles of a data curator. Now, how do you do this? It's complicated. This is a role that on the face of it doesn't sound that hard to do, but when you dive into discovering unique data sets, that's hard, isn't it? It's harder than you would expect when you start going through what would it take to create something no one else has access to. Now, if you look at something like Twitter, Twitter has their feed and it's this endless amount of content and likes and information about how people engage with each piece of content and then background information about those people and all of this because of the way Twitter as a platform is built. This is data that pretty much no one else in the world has access to. So that is a unique data set. Now, how would a curator go in and do their job given access to Twitter's feed? Well, anyone can scrape Twitter's feed, right? Anyone can get access to the API and just pull in some tweets. So that by itself, that basic, I don't know, out there public data set, it's not unique. It's not a competitive advantage. So the curator has to go beyond all of these canned applications to start saying, okay, what else could I build that would be interesting? Could I potentially map decisions about what content people engage with on Twitter versus what products they buy in a very short time span after engaging with certain types of content on Twitter? Could I curate a data set that would allow me to predict just before someone's about to make a purchase? What would that data set look like? How would I gather it in a way that no one else would have access to? Potentially a brand would know that you came from Twitter, would be able to get some basic information about what content you had viewed, and then they would have, obviously on their website, the purchase information. So that's fairly generic. Someone at Twitter who is a data curator would have to go beyond that to say, okay, what else could I gather to create a unique data set? Something that would go beyond just those very basic associations. Is there an intermediary step that I could measure? That would be something interesting. That would be a unique additional element. It would be a new feature that you could add to that data set, potentially making it unique. And again, this is where your understanding of data science comes into play because not only does it have to be unique? I mean, gathering a data point for the sake of gathering it isn't enough. You have to look at that data point and decide, is this really worth gathering? Is this going to be not only unique, but also unique in a useful way? What is the utility of this new data point with respect to any number of models that may be in place or any of the business objectives that we may have as a company? And that's curation. Sometimes it's that single data point. Sometimes it's also realizing that you have access to people and they're more comfortable giving you a type of information that may be information that no other company can get. They just may not be used to or comfortable with providing a company that they're making a purchase from with a particular type of information. But if I'm smart about the way that I do surveying, I might be able to get that piece of information in such a way that I can sell it in such a way that it's useful to a third party or to an existing customer. And now I have, again, a unique data set and something that's a competitive advantage for the company. That's what a curator does. They go out, they think about from the perspective of utility, what could I gather? What would be interesting? Then they create an experiment. How would I, in a very rigorous way, go out and gather this information then they execute, then they curate. They go out to that data set that they've just gathered and put all of the information necessary about the experiment, about the gathering mechanisms, so that I as a data scientist and an entire team of data scientists can use that data point reliably or that data set reliably with a good understanding of how it relates to my particular project.